Hey everybody, it's Miss D again, and now we're in the Summer Smorgasbord of Reading, Part 2. And today's book is by Carol Boston Weatherford, and what I absolutely love about her books, she, she takes history and she puts it into beautiful pictures and paintings and, and attaches with its poetry and some um, just unique uh, spirituals. It's just all this kind of things like that to help teach history, but in a way that's that's really attractive to children. So today's book is called Voice of Freedom, and it's all about Fannie Lou Hammer. And this woman, she was, she fought for voting rights. She was abused, beaten within an inch of her life because they did not want what she was talking about. And so look, I'm just going to show you, it says Spirit of the Civil Rights Movement. I'm going to show you just some of the beautiful pictures here. This one, first of all, the first poem here is called Delta Blues. Look at the art. And look at, here, let me just give you a, a little bit more here about America's problem. So there's your poetry on one side, and then you see the beautiful art all in, between, in the middle. Now, gorgeous book, beautifully illustrated, okay? Last summer, I think I did, I talked about a, a, a book about, about, written also by the same author, Schomburg. The Man Who Built a Library. It's also done in the same format, okay? Beautiful pictures, but it's all historical. Everything in here is truth. And so if this is a way that you can teach children about history when they may not have access to, to it in school, but here you go. And I'm gonna come back throughout the summer with a couple more historical um, books like this that are graphic novels that are, are that are in, in formats like this with art and poetry so that we can teach our children even if they never learn it in school they know it. Okay. All right, guys. Um, that's all I have for today. I will be back with another book in the summer smorgasbord of reading. In the meantime, keep on reading. Have a great day.